Hello and welcome to Simple French Cooking. Today I'm going to teach you to make one of my favorite desserts ever. It's called a galette de roi, king's galette, also called a pithivier. Hidden inside the cake in the, the rum and almond cream filling is a little teeny fève or, or a little character. Now in the old days it used to be a bean, the fève, and then sometime in the 1800s it switched over to a little ceramic figurine. Today I didn't have either. I found a little teeny stone heart in my son's room and I put that inside. And wh whoever finds it is the king of the day. So join me today as I teach you how to make this beautiful galette. The first step to making our galette de roi is to deal with the puff pastry. Now I'm using a puff pastry made at a local bakery. Uh, you could make it yourself or worst case you could go to the grocery store. Almost every single grocery store in America carries Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets. Um, get those, just thaw those overnight. Now the downside to those is they're made with palm oil and a couple other weird oils instead of all butter. Also, they're gonna have creases in it, so your finished uh, galette is going to have little marks from the way they fold. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but a lot of grocery stores also carry a very expensive 100% butter one, and that would be the one I would look for. At any rate, let's roll our sheets out. Now, I'm gonna make the diameter of my galette um, eight to ten inches somewhere in there so we want to roll this out large enough to cut two circles and I start by sprinkling just a little bit of flour down on the surface and I just roll this down out oh this is beautiful I roll it out to approximately um, approximately about an eighth of an inch thick Now let's cut our circles. Now, to get even circles, you could either take a tart pan that has a removable bottom, and you could use this as your guide, or you could use the top part as the guide if you'd like. Or if you don't have a tart pan and maybe you have a cake pan, you could use this. So I'm gonna do it this way. Um, it's just the way I do it. I wanna show you how I'm gonna shape the edge at the end anyways. So we're gonna cut our two circles and we're gonna put them on a sheet pan, cookie sheet, whatever you got. Put it back in your fridge for an hour or so. We want the dough to get hard. So just use whatever you're using to trace around with a super sharp paring knife. There we go, we got one. Let's get the second one cut. Oh, God, this is going to be perfect. All righty. Pull the excess dough off. And I would save this. You know, you can make cookies. You can even re-roll it and use it for a tart. And there's no sense to waste it. Puff pastry is very expensive. All right, let's transfer our circles to a baking sheet. I like to put uh, the silicone or parchment something down so that the puff pastry doesn't stick to it. We're just gonna pop this into our refrigerator for a minimum of half an hour, but a couple hours would be better. See you then. Now it's time to make the filling for our galette de roi, or king's galette. So the, the filling is an almond cream, also known as frangipan, super easy to make. Much easier with a food processor, but you could just mix this all by hand if you don't have one, or you could even do it in a stand mixer. I like to start with one cup of almond flour. Now, almond flour, also called almond meal, can be found in most grocery stores in your baking aisle. 
The best brand I, in my opinion is Bob's Red Mill. Uh, we're also going to add half a cup of sugar. And let's just give that a little mix real quick. And that's just more to mix everything really well. Now I want to take one orange, or in this case I have a clementine. Um, didn't have any oranges, didn't feel like going to the store. And we're just going to grate this in to give it just a beautiful, slightly citrusy flavor. Oranges and almonds complement each other. Uh, so this is going to be just fantastic. And we're going to add about a teaspoon or so of almond extract. The only reason I like to add a little bit of almond extract is I just like the flavor to be amped up just a bit. Um, it's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful flavor. We're going to add four ounces of unsalted butter and make sure your butter is room temperature and soft, especially if you're mixing it by hand, but it's going to incorporate better this way. Alrighty, let's just give this a nice pulse to mix it all up. And you see it's starting to come into a little ball. Um, I'm going to add about an ounce of rum. I like to use a dark rum. Then we're going to add uh, two eggs and I just lightly beat these before I added them. And then let's just make sure you scrape down the sides. Mix it all up. All right. And that's it. Let's give it a little taste. Mmm, so almondy. This is gonna taste so absolutely delicious in our galette. Now the fun part, we get to put this together. Oh, I feel like a little kid today. <laughs> you know, and I think part is because this is like the dish I think every little kid grows up with French parents or grows up in France just loves. You know, it's the Galette de Roi on the 6th of January. I mean, it's a tradition. Um, <clears throat> and, and it's really for a silly reason. It's because inside this pastry, we're gonna hide a little fevre. Now, normally it's a little teeny figurine of something. And I don't, I didn't have one. I looked all over the place. I went through my son, my 10 year old son's room and I actually found this little teeny heart. And so this one I'm gonna use is the fev, but let's get to that in a second. All right, so I just took one egg and I beat it. And I'm just gonna brush a circle, or I should say, I'm just gonna brush the edge of the pastry here. And this is to help seal it. If you didn't want to use egg for whatever weird reason, you could put, um, you could use water, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna take our almond cream, just spoon it in the middle. Ah, oh, this is so, so good. All right, Let's put that there. You know, and some chefs like to use a pastry bag to pipe the almond cream. You know, I don't think you need to worry about it. I mean, look at that, it's there. Now, also I'm making a little bit smaller uh, galette. Mine's about eight inches because there's only three of us. COVID is happening right now. Normally I would have more family over and make a little bit bigger one. I'm still going to use the exact same amount of almond cream. In fact, I would use the same amount for um, an 8 inch, 10 inch. Now let's take our heart. Now I'm going to give you a little secret. So we're going to hide it, we're just going to press it into the almond cream. Mm. And so whoever finds it, and it's always the little kid, is the king of the day. So just remember where you put it. Then we're going to stretch our top part of dough. And you just stretch it out, just pull it a little bigger. All right. Let's press the dough down to seal it. 
Now, just remember our Fev was over here because the last thing you want you to do is have your kid break his tooth. And also you want to guarantee that your kid gets it. You know, so when you're cutting it at the table, you can pretend like you don't know where it is. But of course you do. All right, so now we've pressed down the edges and sealed it. All right, there's a couple different ways you can decorate the edge. This is the way I've been doing it for a while. I mean, like I said before, you could take a tarp pan and use the fluted side to cut it, and that kind of gives you your basis for the edge. But what I like to do is take two fingers like this, and then just take a knife, the back side of a knife, and just push between your fingers. So put your two fingers down, take the knife, and just pull the knife towards you like this. Just like this, so easy. And it looks great. And really, when you get the hang of it, it really just takes a couple seconds. Look how beautiful that is. Anybody can do this. All right, look at that, that looks gorgeous. All right, so remember our Fev is right here. So we just have to remember it's over there. Um, we're gonna make a special little cut in the pastry in just a second. But first, I wanna brush this all with egg wash. And this is gonna make it really shiny and bright. All right, at this point, I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for about 10, 15 minutes, just so the um, puff pastry gets a little bit firmer, and then uh, we're gonna finish decorating it. So see you then. Let's put a second coat of egg wash on. This is gonna help make it very shiny and brown. You know, another trick is, another trick that pastry chefs do is brush the whole top with a simple syrup flavored with a touch of rum. You know, so if yours doesn't come out too shiny, that's a way you can fix it. All right. <clears throat> and then you want to make some kind of decoration in the top. Now, the classic way is kind of like half circles going around all the way around. It looks beautiful. You could make leaves. You can make whatever decorations you want. And you can either use the back of a knife and start in the center and just make a curve. And you just keep going down like that. I've seen some ch pastry chefs use a toothpick or a skewer. So whatever you feel more comfortable with. And if you screw up like I just did, just go in between. <laughs> Turning it, and you always want to just All right, a little bit rough. Maybe I shouldn't have had that cup of coffee before I did this. Now just make sure to make a couple of little vents. And I like to do it in a cut because you want to let steam out of the, the pastry as it's cooking. You know, otherwise this could just rise up and be very uneven that we're just gonna put a special little mark with the knife. So something you remember, it doesn't really matter what it is, but that way when you're serving it, you can cut that piece and your kid will be sure to become the king of the day. And 
anyways, that's it. You know, don't worry, yours could look as terrible as mine does. It really doesn't matter, because what matters is that this is gonna just taste fabulous. So now we're gonna pop our galette into a 400 degree oven that's been preheated for like 20 or 30 minutes. We're gonna cook this for about 30 minutes or until it's golden brown and all the puff pastry is puffed up. Ah, oh, this is gonna be great. The smell is insane in my house. Oh God, it, it's just like the smell of pastry cooking, of almonds. Let's pull it out of the oven and take a look. Oh my God, does that look fabulous. Wow, look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna let it cool off just a little bit and then we're gonna take a bite. You know I'm getting tired of looking at this galette. Let's give it a try. Oh my God, that's incredible. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get all the latest updates when they come out. Go to my website, simplefrenchcooking.com. There's more recipes, please sign up there. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day.